It has been quite a while since I've done a walkthrough on this channel. I, I just don't know what I'm supposed to play now. I, I've done so much already over these years. I, I, I gotta do something huge for my next walkthrough, okay? I, I gotta do something really, really gigantic for my next big playlist, for my next playthrough. I, it's gotta be something big. EA Sports. <laughs> Okay, you didn't have to give me a heart attack there, but uh, EA Big, wait, wait a minute. Oh, what? Uh, that is right, folks. We are playing... Oh my god, this case is old. We are playing NBA Street for the PlayStation 2 Greatest Hits Edition. Seriously, this this case is just so dirty. Look, look how old this thing is. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. I want all of you to look at it! For those of you that don't know, many years ago, I had a little mini-series on this channel called Connor Classics. And basically, those were games that I didn't feel like doing a whole walkthrough of, and I played those for a little bit. And the first ever video, I believe, of that series was NBA Street, the very original one that came out in 2001, I believe it was? Yeah, 2001. God, this game is old. So in honor of this game being close to 20 years old, I have decided to play this game to see if it still holds up in 2021, and we are going to do the City Circuit mode, which is basically the main campaign mode of being the streetball legend, where you can take any NBA team and put them on like a little tour and defeat all the NBA teams at that time. So basically, it's like the And One mixtape tour, but without any of the recognizable streetball names. And you know what? I just felt like doing this game. So you know what? Hopefully it'll still work. I mean, just taking the disc out of the cover, it's just, I mean, look, look how dirty that thing is. And it's, and it's the really rare blue disc. So you know this thing is old. And yeah, let's, um... Let's get right into it. We're, we're gonna play on Mad Game, which is the hardest difficulty, because I'm not no weenie. Yes. All right, and they do this whole little intro thing with Michael Jordan just standing there, looking a little creepy. So we're gonna start off up against the Vancouver Grizzlies. This was way before they became the Memphis Grizzlies, so yeah, obviously this game is like super duper old. And basically it goes by regions, and then you do a street challenge, then you just move on to the next region. And we get to pick Michael freaking Jordan. We have on our team, we have Stefan Marbury, Keith Van Horn, Aaron Williams, Kendall Gill, and Kenyon Martin on this team, looking very serious, quite obviously. We're going to start off with a star off hop with MJ, Stefan Marbury, and Keith Van Horn. In case you don't know, it's first to 21 points, you must win by two. This man with his big ass megaphone looking like the mouth of the South Jimmy Hart. So we got Keith Van Horn, Michael Jordan, and Stefan Marbury going up against Sharif Abdul Rahim, Michael Dickerson, and Mike Bibby. Mike Bibby, folks. Okay, wait, how do you, is it triangle? Oh, okay, I guess it's triangle. Is vibration on? I'm gonna turn that off. Pause. Get into it. Ooh, Stefan Marbury. Oh, baby. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, wait, no. Pass it to him. Keith Van Horn. There we go. All right. one nothing. Off to a hot start. Yep. Get. Okay. Get. 
Oh, Michael Jordan with the hard foul. And again, no fouls in street ball, baby. Just the way I like it. And we're dunking over a dude. Going up 2-0. Keep Van Horn. Oh, my goodness. Get big. Oh, with the 360 dunk. Michael Jordan just being one of the greatest, possibly the greatest ever. I know I'm probably going to get a lot of LeBron fans and, like, angry people saying, he's not my goat in the comments, you know. Oh, how does Keith Van Horn miss that dunk? There we go. All right. Uh, Mears getting to the red. Get the steal. Yes. Trick move. Oh, pull-up season. Michael Jordan, and you have to hit the turbos. Any two of the turbos plus the circle button to unleash your game breaker shot. And you see how I got two points, and they ended up losing a point. The main point is to try and win my first game, and the Grizzlies are not making this easy. And you just got to be careful because some people can do, like, level one tricks. If you hold down, like two or three of the turbo buttons with someone like Stefan Marbury, for example, they can pull off moves like that. But if I was to do something like that with Keith Van Horn, he would just like trip all over himself, you know, like a, like a klutz. All right. Mm, oh, I could have done the hookup. Oh, I hate when that happens. Haraz. Oh, Stefan Marbury with the jelly roll. I think that was the name of that layup that was called, but if not, I just came up with that name, so there you go. Oh, get, yes, good steal. Just spamming that steal button. Oh, no, okay. From the elbow. Brick City in here. Stefan, you're wide open. No. Denied. Oh, get that out of here. Oh god, what am I doing? Brick City yeah, what, yeah. what am I doing? Keep Van Horn with the spinning shot. Nope. Oh. oh boy. Alright, they got a game breaker. Let's um let's see if we can run out their game breaker. Which you can actually do. You can actually uh, run around and then waste the shot clock. Hopefully, hope and pray you get an offensive rebound. Oh boy. Because you can waste their game breaker and stuff like that. Because after a while, it just goes away, which is nice. Oh, boy. You can also block their game breaker shots, but with Stefan Marbury, yeah, that was not happening. And now they take the lead. Oh, God. Come on. Oh, no. No. Oh. Yes, good steal. Oh, alley -oop. <clears throat> Let's go keep Van Horn. That gives us a really big boost to our game breaker meter. Look at that camera angle. There we go. Keep Van Horn pulling up. 18 to 15. Ah, good shot. Oh, the motorcycle in back. Just the detail in this first game is actually pretty impressive for that time. Like all the background stuff with these courts, it's a really nice visual. Oh, I think triangle, yeah, triangles is a set of pick, too. Oh, pull up. No. Oh, oh he almost blocked that. Stefan Marbury. That's a huge bucket. All right, now we need just one more bucket, and we have to win by two in order to win this game. So you already know who I'm going, putting this towards. Michael Jordan. Get it. Oh, no. Oh, boy, they just hit a clutch shot. Oh, God. Come on, end this, Michael Jordan. Ooh, with the dunk delicious. Connor wins. Oh my goodness, that is a crazy way to end that game. Oh, we can add them to the uh, squad, or we can get 50 development points. So I am going to go with more development points. Loser! You're a loser! All right, next game up against the Toronto Raptors. I think I either have to spam circle or triangle to win those tip-offs, but just so you know, ooh, got him with the pump fake, Michael Jordan, easy money. No. Oh, Vince Carter. These guys are trying to shoot threes? You're Vince freaking Carter. You go up, especially 2001 Vince Carter. 
when you were like the king of dunking. You know, it's like, what are you doing? That's like your Steph Curry. Bang, See, that's bang, what bang, should be happening. Bang. Michael Jordan making all these threes. There we go, Stephon Marbury. I also forgot to mention that we're running with Marbury and uh, Michael again, but we're also putting in Kenyon Martin, who is way darker in this game than I remember. I'm not trying to in incite anything. I'm just saying he's a lot more light-skinned in real life. Just saying. They got Vince Carter pretty much down to a T, and also Michael Jordan. I guess they didn't care about Kenyon Martin that much. It's all conspiracy against the New Jersey Nets. Why I moved to Brooklyn. That's why the Brooklyn Nets have all these all-stars trying to compete against LeBron James in real life. You know, it's all a damn conspiracy. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. You heard it here first. Oh God, what am I doing? Oh, that's I, I meant to do that. Oh God, nope. Oh, the dinner served. See, that is vintage. Vince Carter. Come on, set the pick. Oh, whoo. And again, game breaker shots for the most part usually automatically go in, especially if someone like Stefan Marbury has really good outside shooting abilities. Take, don't, don't try to steal the ball from me, Vince Carter. I'm just here so I don't get fined. Somebody rebound. Rebound, rebound, rebound. No! Oh, no. Oh, God. And they go for a one-point game-breaker? Why not go for the two-point game-breaker? Don't really understand that logic. Well, I mean, it's still a four-point game, so they want to try and get close, so... I mean, I can understand that, but... They gotta play some defense first, and... Not gonna get it done when Kenny Martin is going up for the alley-oops like that. Oh, what the? How you hit the side of the backboard? He hit the side of the backboard. Oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, in the corner. No. Oh my god. I should have went for the one. It's just like in a boxing fight. You gotta go for the one point. You know, so many people are so obsessed with getting two points. It's like... All right, and, and double tapping a, uh, either any of the L1, R1, double tapping like that, that actually helps you die for the ball, but just like in boxing, you know, you gotta tag the body, you just can't go for the hooks and the big knockout shots all the time. Keep it simple, just like in basketball, you gotta take your two-point shots instead of going for three all the time. I know, I'm very old school, but, you know, it, when it works like that, I mean, it works. Plus, I got a little boost for my game breaker, so... There you go for all you youngins out there. Oh, God, I'm old. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, no, that was probably a bad idea, because now they have a game breaker. And, oh, no. Oh, no. That's from, like, half freaking court. Wow. Freaking Vince Carr from half court. I mean, he could shoot the ball. Especially now, he could shoot the ball. Watch it, he's retired, but... Um, yeah, back then he was not a three-point shooter. He just went in there and dunked it on people. Everyone went crazy. That was his gimmick. And now it's like, I don't know what he's doing nowadays. He just shoots the ball. Slip and slide. I love the little girl that does the, the little, like, announcing thing. Like, when she goes, serving it up, dinner served, like... Ah, oh, the memories with this game. The Undertaker's probably here. Especially back in these days. Yeah, this was when Biker Taker was going off. Woo! Michael Jordan for three. I should say two, because it is a two-point shot, technically, in NBA Street. Because they go by ones and twos instead of twos and threes. But y you know what I meant, okay? So, stop correcting me in the comments. Another three from Michael Jordan! He can't be stopped, and I'm going, oh my god, this, if I get this deal, this game's over. Nope, get the, get this, who's whistling? Oh no, don't make that, oh, get the rebound, no, oh my god, no, 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 I want to do the game right, no, oh no, no, 
Get it. No, son of a bitch. No. Hey, yo. Oh my god. Get, get. Pull up. Oh my god. And, and it's gonna go in. That's the game. Oh, that was clutch. Oh my goodness. I don't really know why I did that. I, I could have just went in and got a one point shot without the game breaker. But, you know, I wanted to win in style. So, there you go. Yeah, why not? Vince Carter ends up being on the Nets in real life, so you know what? I'm just, you know, stacking my team a little bit. Ain't nothing wrong with that.